So hello guys welcome back to the channel in this video we'll cover another amazing lab that is enhance gemini model capability so first of all click on start lab and open the console incognito window now if you are new to this channel like the video and subscribe the channel so a lot of you guys were demanding for this lab tutorial so here is the tutorial for it now just click on i understand and let's complete this lab together and get full score without any issue just click on i agree and continue now from here on the navigation menu click on vertex ai and here just click on workmate basically we'll be using jupyter notebook for it finally here you have to click on open jupyter lab it will take few seconds so just wait for it after a few seconds here is the jupyter notebook and we have to open this file that is enhanced gemini so just click over it now here sometimes the kernel is not selected so you have to just click over here and select the python 3s kernel so as you can see here first of all wait for the kernel to get connected and idle so it's blinking so if you are unable to see any movement kernel status is idle and if the circle is filled that means kernel is busy so this part has been done now what we have to do is we have to just install the google gen ai sdk for python so this play button it will start executing the step after that we have to just restart the kernel for restarting the kernel again use this play button and a pop-up will come wait a minute you have to just click over here and a pop-up will come here now the kernel has died or restarting just click on ok and wait for the kernel status to go idle as you can see it's currently busy once it's idle we'll move forward to the next step so we'll follow the step by step method because a lot of you guys were asking a detailed tutorial for detailed tutorial for this lamp so let's cover it run this and from here we have to just set the region project id is set by default so no need to update it just update the region here so we have updated the region just now execute this shell after that we'll be loading this gemini model now we have from here we have to execute the task so what is the task we have to just create a code for python basically we have to calculate the average of this sneaker prices so just write the model tool name so what is the model tool name can you guess let me show you here is the model tool name which we'll be using so just write it carefully make sure to take care of the syntax also for every comma bracket plays an important role here because if you miss you may get error so here we have set the model now we have to just update the prompt so for prompt what we have to do let me show you as you can see here is the prompt so we have to just replace the from to do only section not the second that is generate run and run code for calculation we have to just replace the first prompt only not the second one as you can see here so just replace it and here you can type this what is the average price of sneakers and we have to write a formula just do it like this and yes this has been done now make sure to add the question mark here now everything is fine no need to make modification just run it so if you are able to get this number that means we have completed the code carefully that means correctly so if you get any error you will be asked to debug it so now we are in the next task where we have to just find the key features of the nike jordan so just copy here because this will be using as a prompt so for prompt replace the entire contain from hash tag to here so we have updated it make sure there are inverted commas and question mark too now just update the search tool model so for the search tool sorry for the search tool we have to just add the google search tool here just follow the the way i am getting i am writing you will definitely get the full score
so this is also done now we have to just update the configuration so from here just update the configuration replace the entire content now let's write the configuration for this prompt fully generative content config now here this thing we have to add a bracket so let's have the bracket yes tool underscore oh sorry equal to google bracket google underscore search so just do it like this so we have done like this only like we have added a search tool now we have to just run it and if you are getting error you have to just modify it mainly the error is like you miss brackets comma full stop you can correct it and if you face any issue you can let me know now for the task number four here if you want you can hit check my progress you will definitely get the score but for this lab basically we need some time for the task like it takes time to update the score so you will not get the score instantly for some task basically for task number three and task number four you need to wait for at least two to five minutes sometimes even longer as you can see here we are getting this wait a minute let me show you you'll get a error so let's try this one now here run this schema and for that for the last task we have to update the response schema so just copy from here or you can type it also no need to worry now here just update it so just replace the entire content here and update it so make sure there is comma you don't have to replace the comma now we have to update the query prompt basically the query so what you need to add let me show you what we have to add as a query so just replace the entire content from here to here if you are unable to so here what you need to do do one thing that just write like this f in what we comma bracket model bracket now just follow the price what we have to do as the price so make sure it's in same letter like if i am writing in small do write in small and if i am writing anything in capital do follow the way and don't make any mistake just do it like this all things have been updated what we need to do now we have loaded the response.json basically the response file now just run it sorry response.schema it was so we got the output here now sometimes lab takes time to update the score so wait for some time and also try to hit check my progress sometimes you may get the score so if you face any issue wait for at least 10 to 15 minutes and if still unable to get the score just restart the lab or if you are facing any issue just reach out to support finally we are done with the lab guys have a great day ahead do like the video subscribe the channel and check the other playlist for scale badges and lab also the description